Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our devotion time. Today is April 20th, and our devotion is titled The Compassionate One from Psalm 103, verse 8. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in loving kindness. Consider the Israelites wandering in the desert. God had rescued them out of bondage and went before them in a pillar of fire, providing for their every need and protecting them. What did they offer to him? Complaints. Listen to the Psalms of David, the man after God's own heart, as he lays his burdens at the feet of God, praising his majesty and might. But what did David do when he wanted what he could not have? Stole, murdered, and lied. Paul, who gave his life to preach the gospel, he loved to people near and far, shared the astounding gift of God's grace to the Jews, Gentiles alike. But who was he before his conversion? A hateful, persecuting murderer of Christians. God loves his children regardless of their sin, their past, and their failings. This love is poured out on us with consideration and patience. We aren't dealt with as we deserve, rather according to his great love for us. Isn't it a wonderful thing to know that God bases our relationship with him off of his love for us and not off of our actions? What an encouragement to me. I know it is to you as well because you all have st have spoken to me in so many ways about the things that you struggle with and the, th the same things I struggle with every day. You know, if there's one thing I see happening in all of these devotions is it's always gearing us back toward the love of God, toward his acceptance, toward his forgiveness, his compassion. You know, we can never, ever put a price tag on what God did for us on the cross. When he gave us Jesus, when he gave us life, he gave his all. And I always say that. And if God never did another thing for us, he gave us his all when he gave us his son. But instead, God, in his great love and in his patience and in his goodness and kindness and in his mercy and grace, every single day offers us new mercies, new grace, new abilities, new joy. He is always there seeking to save that which is lost. He's always there seeking to forgive us, to help us through our circumstances. If you have something that plagues you in your life and that has plagued you for years and you feel like it's just going to be a part of who you are, I have mine and I'm sure that you have yours. Whether it be your temper, your outlook on life, food, gambling, cigarettes, um, drugs, Pornography, I don't care what the addiction or the sin or the lack inside of you, the anxiety, the stress that you, that you walk in, all of these areas of weakness in us as Christians, God has grace. His grace is always sufficient for us and he loves us and he is compassionate to the things that we struggle with. And he knows us inside and out. So let's keep in mind to turn to him today and ask him for his grace. And in his compassion, I promise you, he will grant that prayer. Because all of his promises are yes and amen through Jesus Christ. If you're praying in his will, he will say yes, and his will is for our freedom. It's for us to know how much he loves us. It's for us to know how good he is to us every day. Those things all fall under the umbrella of God's will. So whatever it is you have that you're struggling with today, know that God's compassion is right there. And that all you have to do is ask for his grace and he will grant it. And every day until you're free of that thing, whatever it is, ask God for his grace. Confess to him 
I need your grace, Lord. I can't do this without you. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your compassion and your mercy, that you've forgiven us and that you love us with abundance. There are no limits to your love, Lord. Help us to dwell on that fact today. Help us to come before you and ask for your grace, knowing that in your great mercy and compassion, you will grant that. And then help us to acknowledge that we've been given that grace and to walk in it every day. We give you praise and glory, Lord. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Walk in his grace and mercy today. And I will too. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.